And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create this light leak transition. But first, let me cut this one short. We don't need the entire clip. And this magnet function is active by default, I believe. So let me activate that. I don't want to confuse you. Here we want to add our effect. First up, I go to animation, out, and I add a fade out. You don't want to have it too long. Default is 0.5. You can go a little bit down if you want to. But just don't make it like a second or two seconds, that won't be too long. I'll keep it to 0.5 in this case. Then you want to add an effect. Open the video effects, I already did that. If you have the pro features, you can use the halo blur. It should be under opening and closing. Even a diamond halo is a good effect. You can see that here. But if you don't have the pro features, you can add different light leaks and the light effects. Here is a Halo 1, Halo 2, and even the leaks can be used. I want to use the free ones in these tutorials so that everyone can use them. So I'll add the Halo here. And this little line down there is my animation, the fade out. So I want to position the Halo so that it overlaps with the fade out. And this would be the main effect. We have a little bit of a problem though. As this fade out, it makes everything a little bit darker. It fades to black, you could say. To fix that, we can go to Media, Library, and then pick a white background. I just used the default one here, but you can also type in white. And there should be a couple of options. As I've said, I stick to the default, so I delete this here. The duration of our clip entirely is 8 seconds, so I make this white one a speed of 9. And then I can use the split to B to cut this shorter. You don't necessarily have to adjust the duration, but if you have longer clips, you can do that. I now want to size this down, and let's get back to our magnet function. I want to have this turned off because that way I can resize it from left to right. And it's going to lighten it up, so this adds a background to it. Now it doesn't fade to black, but it fades to white. Let me add the halo again. So we're almost there. If you think that the whiteness is too harsh, you can simply select this clip, so this white element, and then you go to Video Basic, open the Blend drop down, and there you can go down with the opacity. So you can adjust it gradually. I'll play it again. And this is how you can create this slightly transition. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.